people get involved in your campaign. They say, you know what? I love this woman. I love what she's doing. She's fighting for us. This is John Villarreal reporting for Conservative New Media. Conservative New Media viewers, what's up? It's me, John D. Villarreal. Paul Villarreal there on the phone. Now, let's talk about this upcoming fight on the 28th between Randy, the natural couture, and James Lights Out Tony. I mean, we know we got the August 7th thing coming up. We're gonna talk about that in another video. But this really has got me, it's got me really interested right here. This is a almost a freak show fight. But this is a fight that we have to see and we have to talk about. Paul, what do you make of this? You got a guy, James Tony, that at any given time, you know, even though the guys had an unbelievable boxing record, could double as, you know, the Pillsbury Doughboy, the guy so ballooned up. And then you got Randy Couture, who, you know, before was looking really buff and big and heavyweight, and now the guy looks a little bit, you know, really small and stuff like that. But, you know, do you think, what do you make of this fight? What are your initial impressions? And do you think that Tony has any chance here in the MMA ring? A lot of the MMA fans are all making fun of him. They're writing it off and, oh, you can't come into MMA. But I'm not so sure. This James Tony, he's very crafty, and he's got wicked hands. And Randy Couture is not the youngest guy anymore. James Tony has an excellent chance. And now, again, this is the, this is going to be the classic boxer versus MMA guy. You know, is James Tony going to be able to land punches? That's the main thing here. Is he going to get taken down and just grounded and pounded into dust? But James Tony is a tough guy. He's a strong guy. And he really could punch. And he could punch when he had, you know, much larger gloves than what he's going to be wearing here. James Tony definitely has the power to KO Randy Couture basically with one shot. I, there's no doubt about that. I mean, if, if if Chuck Liddell can KO Randy basically with one punch, James Tony definitely can do the same thing. And that's the thing that I see as well. This, I think, is a much, much more dangerous fight for Randy Couture than anybody suspects. Granted, Randy Couture is fighting everyone. Granted, he's Hall of Famer. Granted, he's got like, you know, uh, five time heavy, you know champion, you know, first time UFC. At the same time, you look at Randy's record, just statistically, it's not like the greatest, okay? He has 10 losses. And, you know, he hasn't looked that great lately, okay? And so, yeah, he fought Nog last or whatever. They're both pretty old, let's be honest about that. And Randy's been stung by a lot of people, whether it was Nog, knocked down, I think, several times in that fight, whether it was, you know, um, uh, Brock, he knocked down that fight, of course, you know, Brock's enormous. But, you know, you're dealing with someone that is a professional boxer, and not just a professional boxer. Uh, Tony will definitely go in the Hall of Fame in terms of professional boxing. The guy is wicked dangerous with his hands. And now they're trying to do this at a catch weight. They're trying, you know, Tony wants to do it heavyweight. They want to do it at a catch weight. And, you know, Tony thinks, yeah, they're trying to make it easy for Randy, you know, the UFC, because you know UFC, Dana White's flip, flip it out. If you've got a guy like James Tony, who's looking like a fat POS, who comes in there and just blows up UFC, it makes UFC look weak, makes UFC look like they have nothing there. It's the same thing that some people were speculating that they were doing with Pride, trying to make people's, you know, first time in UFC really hard, this and that, whatever, or what some people speculated they did with Brock Lesnar. Oh yeah, put him in there with someone that's going to tie him up with jujitsu and, you know, submit him, this and that, whatever, with, with, uh, with Frank Mir. Because Dana White wants to make UFC looks good, look good, and, and boost up as a promotion is like the toughest, you know, combat sport, whatever like that. So, but here's the thing with that. I think having that lighter weight helps James Tony. I think it forces him to get in shape. I think that's the biggest factor in this fight, not if it goes to the ground. I think the biggest factor in this fight is, does James Tony come in shape? If he comes in shape, like really in shape, watch out Randy Couture. Now, of course, Randy's game plan is gonna be to tie him up. I mean, this could end up being a very boring, GSP-esque fight. At the same time, at least once around, they're gonna be standing up. And Randy's out to get in there. And James Tony can just let the hands fly, and it might end up looking like uh, what happened to Tim Sylvia when he faced Ray, you know, Ray Mercer. Everyone thought Ray Mercer was a joke after he got beat by Kimbo and whatever. Well, Ray Mercer showed what a, what a you know, um, professional boxer can do. And let me tell you, James Tony is a much better professional boxer than Ray Mercer, okay? I mean, he can light you up. So, I mean, you have to look at this fight and you say to yourself, okay, who knows what James Tony can or can't do in MMA? Probably not much. Probably can't do much in terms of anything other than, than, than boxing. But we don't know that. You never know. And Rampage Jackson isn't like, 
I mean, now he's a lot better, but when he started, you know, it wasn't like he was uh, the Mr. Technical guy. And look at Brock Lesnar, same thing there. Other than Brock had unbelievable, you know, he's got unbelievable wrestling skills. The point is that, you know, I think with this whole situation with Couture, Randy's not going to knock out Tony unless it's like, you know, ground and pound or something like that, whatever. So he's not going to knock him out. Randy's not really a submission guy. Uh, so he's not going to stand with Tony. He's not a submission guy. So it's not like, you know, Tony's facing some, some guy who's just some ridiculous jujitsu guy who's going to submit him. Or he's facing some guy who's going to, you know, try to do a Shane Carwin, which is, you know, okay, yeah, he'll out-wrestle you and he'll knock you out. So, yeah, Randy can control you. But, you know, he's not going to, it's not going to, Randy versus Tim Silver is going to try to knock him out. What's Randy going to do to, to, to Tony? I see him wrestling. I see him maybe trying rear naked chokes. I see him ground and pound. So that's what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is Tony's going to be around. And Tony's taking big shots from a lot of people. And he's very crafty. So unless the guy's like a fish out of water when he gets on his back, which could absolutely happen, Tony's going to be in this fight for a little bit. If he's in this fight for a little bit, you don't know what he's going to be able to do with those hands. I mean, I mean, I wouldn't even be shocked to see Tony knock him out off his back. That could happen too. So yeah, if I was betting money on this, phew, I'd bet the house on Couture. But I think that Tony is very live in this. You know, very live. I mean, I'm telling you right now, you have... You know, Couture too, he's not a freestyle wrestler, he's a Greco-Roman wrestler, which is all upper body. So yeah, Couture's got to press against the fences, that, whatever. There's a break, you know, there's something like that. Tony can just light him up, dude. I mean, you know, Randy, again, he's not the youngest cat in the, in the, in the, uh, in the, in the hen house anymore. I mean, he just, I don't know, we don't know what he can get done. I expect Randy to train hard, I expect Randy has much more tools, but I mean, I think Tony's very dangerous in this poll. I think Tony is extremely dangerous, and he is, as you said, this is a Hall of Fame caliber guy. Yeah, he's not what he used to be, but neither is Randy Couture. So, I mean, if James Tony, big chip on his shoulder, always had it. He is someone that, you know, he performs well in clutch situations. Oh, he does. Uh, you know, don't, yeah. don't, if he gets an opening, then this fight can be over. Right then. And that's the thing that people don't. The, the thing that people don't understand. That's the thing that people don't understand about James Tony. Okay, James Tony can just be sitting there, and just like they come in, they touch gloves. Like think about this. First ding ding bell rings. They oh first round. Okay, they touch gloves. James Tony puts his hand back and boom, just knocks him out. Randy. I mean that can happen. Believe me, that can happen. Okay, Tony's gonna have five ounce gloves. Tony's knocked out. Like freaking, I believe heavyweights. He's definitely knocked out everyone else leading up to heavyweights. I mean, he can just just take him out, bro. I mean, just like that. I mean, heck of fast, dude. This is Tony is no joke. Okay, it's no joke, and that's the thing. Like, if Randy doesn't have that speed anymore, or doesn't have enough speed, watch out. And that's the thing. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. Now, who knows what? I, of course, we all expected to go to the ground. We expect Randy to dominate the, the whole nine yards. But believe me, Tony's going to be live in this. That's what I'm just saying right there. Tony's going to be live in this, and anything can happen. And it, you know, so we'll see. It's going to be an interesting. It's going to be an interesting. And we love Randy. I love Randy. He's like one of my favorite, if not my favorite, MMA guys. You know, like of all time and stuff like that. But at the same time, like we gotta call it like we see it. Believe me, this is a dangerous fight for Randy Couture. It really is. Even though it's a freak fight and, and if Randy fights it right, i.e. the Brock Lesnar style and the GSP style, he should be in, in good shape, but very dangerous fight. And James Tony can just blast him, dude. So we'll see. Anyway, I wanna know what you guys think about that. Do you who do you think's gonna win? Or do you wanna watch the fight? Will you pay for the fight? Tell me about what's going on in this fight, and we have to see. We don't even know what weight the fight's going to be at. It's got a lot of things going on with this fight, and I want to hear from anyone that knows any kind of training stuff that's going on with James Tony. Does he do anything on the ground? Does he take down the fence there? What's, what's going on with James Tony? We want to know what's up. Anyway, comments below, subscribe above. I am John, that is Paul. We are Conservative Media. We'll see you next time.